Welcome back everyone. Today we'll be looking at the One Piece TCG Sunday 13 Ultra Deck, the three Ultra Deck, the three brothers, oh, along with some uh, some one-offs. Might start with the one-offs today. Up oh, first we have uh, Kozuki Hiori Alternate Art. This is from a uh, One Piece series six. Very, uh, just as colourful as her uh, normal art one, that one. Up next we have the holographic Don card, uh, to be the king of the pirates, who will surpass you? Who will surpass you to be king of the pirates? I read that around the wrong way. But, uh, there's a sort of Luffy holographic. The holographic really doesn't show up on screen that easily. Then we have the, uh, Yamato holographic Don card. Uh, and I would die for you. Uh, that one definitely shows up better in person. The, uh, all the clouds are holographic, so not too bad. We have a... Uh, this is the sort of series cards from the 6th series, but uh, this is uh, Missile Sunday from Series 4. Alternate art. Very nice looking card there. And lucky last from series six, we have uh, a Renami alternate art. This one's very uh, fancy. The background, the coins, the flowers on her clothing, kimono? No, not kimono. Can't remember what it's called. I'll put it up. Uh, and hairband all, all holographic, so. Very cool looking. Alrighty, we will jump straight into the start of deck 13. So the usual. Uh, Luffy, Ace and Sabo on the front. Luffy on both sides. And then just the uh, pack contents in the middle. Ooh, this one's going back to the... Uh, Plastic insert. The other one is plastic insert. So, the manual like usual. The uh, card box. We have Luffy on the front, Sabo on the side, and Ace on the other side. And I'm guessing when I open that up, oh, no. nothing there. Usual card insert. Now this is what, I know it's meant to be cool, but probably what's gonna bug me a bit about this starter deck. Uh, there are three holographics cards from, or alternate art cards from the rest of the deck, which means if you're trying to get them all, uh, you would have to buy the deck several times over. Uh, and I, I complain, but then, uh, pretty cool divider. But no, I think, uh, I really hope they don't do too much of that, because that'll get really annoying real fast. Alrighty. Open, open up the main deck. So, the usual, we'll uh, separate out the Don cards. I'm assuming these are just, yeah. Oh, no, these are... Oh, it's another, it's another everything's holographic deck, like, uh, starter deck 10. I can partially forgive them for that, because I was worried it was going to be, oh, here's just the generic standard cards, and then here's three special ones, but they're all very fancy. Still, I hope they don't do it too often. Uh, we will, uh, we'll just go through the front, honestly, because... There's no point in putting the hollows to the sign because they're all hollows. So, up first we have a leader card, Sabo. Again, all holographic. Flames definitely pop. We have a leader card, Portgus D Ace. Is Luffy going to be doing Red Rock so it keeps the fire theme going as well? 
No, he's just punching. Ah, oh, And we have a uh, leader card, Monkey D. Luffy. I do like that all of his hands are punching, except for his main left one, which is open. All right. We have uh, now character card, Sabo. It's always, it's always cool when they're all the holographic ones. Uh, I'll just sort of spread them out a bit. Oh, we have a character card, Ace. And of course, after the, the two brothers, we have a uh, character card, Monkey D. Luffy. Monkey D. Garp. Who ordered these? <laughs> There's Luffy. Sit there for a second, guard. Character card, Monkey D. Luffy. I wonder if this one's going to have a theme like uh, the Sora and Sandy one. Currently, we've got Garp with three brothers, which, I mean, is the name of the deck. Uh, but I wonder what the supporting characters are going to be. So. Up oh, first we have Emporio Vankov. God, the, uh, the ripple effects in the background look really cool. This might just be people who have supported Luffy at the time. Uh, rotation. Up next we have uh, Edward Newgate. Not as impressive as the Emporio Vanko one. Then we have a uh, Curly Dan Dan. That one makes sense. Were her lips always that aggressive? Anyway. Then we have a uh, young Sabo again. Oh. Sabo again, a character card Sabo again, who is young. What was the Emporio of Uncle one so spectacular? <laughs> All the others are just holographic. We have a holographic Shanks. I'm going to put Shanks on top of Garp, just to try and keep the... Uh, the order going. Oh, we have a uh, young uh, Portgus Diaz. Then we have a... is it a young Makino or a current Makino? I'm gonna say young Makino for now. She doesn't have a kid with her. And then there's the a young Monkey D. Luffy. I just realised all of the uh, the leader cards are yellow and, well, yellow, red for Sabo, yellow, blue for Ace, and then yellow, black for Luffy, and then all the other cards are yellow, so. Very clever. And then we have uh, Yamato. Focuses. There we go. The uh, the color in the cherry blossoms really uh, really pops. Now moving on to the event cards, we have the uh, Flame Dragon King. Gum Gum Jet Spear. And three brothers bond. Actually, there might be one more. Three brothers bond. No, that was the last one. Well, that showed me. And then we have three, three bonus cards. 
which is going to be the alternate art version of one of the other cards. I think the leader cards are included in that. And there is a leader card that's included in that. So we'll see which one it was. Uh, I don't know whether or not you always get a leader card or if I just got lucky. Anyway, up first we have a young Port Gustias. So, oh, well, I might as well compare and hopefully I remember where I put them all. So, you can just see it's essentially a, uh, I can't really say, is it not really a manga style, it's more just a black and white version of the same card. And then we have a holographic alternate art black and white version of Sabo. That one's actually really impressive because, again, the colour, I mean, I guess the Ace one did have the green, but the yellow, I mean, the leader cards have the sort of, like the shattered sort of look in the fire. Which is very cool. And lucky last, will we get lucky and get Luffy or someone else again? We have Emporio of Ankov looking very creepy there. It's not going to show up on camera, but I know the... It's because it's solid white. Actually, did the next one have it as well? Yeah. It's really glossy. Oh, there's a holographic, but there's like a really intense gloss over the top. But, uh, no, it's got the... Oh, well, where did I put Ivankov? I think Ivankov was in this pile. Ha ha, I remembered. Of them, I reckon, of the alternates, I think Emporia Ivankov's coloured one looks better, Sanabo's ultimate looks better, and I think Ace's coloured one looks better. I'll put uh, Sabo back on the top there. Well, that's everything for today. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.